Hola, what's going on guys? Today I wanted to show you the Dark Hour Defense Compensated Standoff Device. I have it on my Glock 17. Let's go ahead and clear the weapon and we'll take a look at it. Okay, so this portion right here is the, uh, the standoff device. Now what a standoff device does is typically if you were to drive your gun or your muzzle into someone or something and it puts that slide out of battery just the slightest bit, you have a dead trigger. So what this allows for is for you to be up against something and the trigger still to be pressed if need be. Um, and as a compensator, it has these ports up here to help mitigate that muzzle climb. And it also adds mass to the front of the slide, which helps keep it kind of nose heavy and aids in that as well. On here, I have some talon grips. Uh, I just put those on a few days ago. And then my Holosyn 407CO, it's that eight MOA ring. I don't know how well you'll be able to see that. Then I have some True Glow Tritium Suppressor Height Sights to co-witness as well. Um, this is a Safari Precision Slide, custom slide I have put on. But Oh, this holster, if you plan on carrying it, is a must. Because I looked and looked and looked. Couldn't find anyone to make a holster for it other than Dark Hour Defense itself. This is an IWB, but they also offer OWBs, both left and right hand. It's not Kydex though. It's like a hard plastic. It's put, not that I'm too worried about it, but it's put some holster wear marks. I don't know if you can see that. I'm trying to get it. Yeah, right there. And on this side as well. I'm not too concerned with it. It's not a safe queen, but maybe that will be a concern to some of you so i thought it was worth mentioning but yeah guys that's it um i think the standoff device was like 120 the holster was like 105 or 110 so after tax and shipping you're looking at probably 250 real close for the both of them but if you don't want to replace your barrel and you are looking for a compensator or you just want the benefits of having a standoff device, uh, this is definitely an option. So that's about it for today. Just wanted to take a little look at it, show you guys what it's all about and uh, let you know it works. I mean, first and foremost, I've tried it, um, both pressing it up against targets and it will not go out of battery. I mean, as you can see, all this goes right into your frame it's not moving the slide at all and then as far as actually shooting it the whole firearm treks really flat super flat compared to usual so it's a night and day difference with and without it i believe and it's become a really fun range gun to go and let people shoot and i do carry it on occasion that's why I left the trigger stock, just because I wanted to be able to depend on it if need be. And I've heard a lot of bad things about aftermarket triggers, especially the uh, ones you have to custom fit to your gun in order to get right. So I just figured it was better to leave that be and customize all the external stuff. I don't like messing with the internals. I had a uh, aftermarket mag release in there and I even put that back, but that could have been too because it was red and I just wanted it all blacked out. But that's just my take on it, my taste. Hopefully you guys liked the video and I'll catch you next time. Peace.